Hello, welcome to Python for Academics. In this video, I'm going to show you how to extend the application of list comprehensions by adding extra for loops within the list comprehension code. This will allow us to generate text um, that labels permutations of different sets of variables. So I have this uh, exercise set up for you. Uh, let's say that we have three groups of patients, group one, group two, group three, and we have a set of five drugs uh, that we would like to administer to those three different groups of patients. And let's say that uh, for members of every group, we would like to administer two different drugs from that, uh, from that set of five drugs. Uh, so my drugs in this exercise are called apple, orange, banana, watermelon, berries. You can uh, go ahead and rename these two cases coming from your own research. Um, so what we would like to accomplish in this exercise is generate a list comprehension that, uh, that would ultimately print large piece of text that labels all of those cases. So all of those permutations of two uh, different uh, drugs out of this list of five drugs administered to, uh, to the members of each of these three groups. So you can see that even with just three groups and five drugs, uh, this piece of text is already uh, pretty long, so it would be tedious to generate all of those permutations by hand, and we're going to use Python to help us uh, generate such text, which you can then uh, copy and paste into your lab notebook, for example. So I already have my, uh, my list of drug names defined over here, and we're going to start building that list comprehension little by little. So first, let's say that we're going to start by looping over uh, each of the uh, three groups. Uh, so we're going to write i for i in range from 1 to 4, and ultimately, we're going to want to print that as a string with this label uh, group. So I'm going to already uh, do that. So that gives us a list of three elements that labels each of the three groups. Now we're going to join all of the elements in that list using the join function. And we're going to use the newline character uh, to join the elements of that, uh, of that list just so that we have every case stored in a new row. And I'm going to wrap all of that in a print statement, uh, just so that we have this uh, formatted uh, as, as it should be uh, in, that, in that example code. So now our list has got three elements, but we can add an extra for loop in that list comprehension to now loop over uh, all of the drugs in this drug names list, in addition to just looping over uh, all of the group names. So we're going to use a different variable name for that, for that second index, uh, and we're going to loop over uh, all of the drug names in our list. And we're going to print that drug name alongside with the group uh, number. So we're going to add this, uh, we don't need to turn this into a string, it's already a string, so we're going to uh, add that variable uh, name uh, to the text being printed. So now you can see that our list has got many more entries uh, because we have two nested for loops. So the first for loop loops over all of the three group names, and the second for loop loops over all of the uh, drugs in this list of five different drugs. But now we would like to add uh, the second drug, and so we can add even, uh, even more for loops in that list comprehension code. We can again, uh, uh, we we're going to change the name of that variable, that index, uh, the different drug names, and we're going to print that drug name uh, alongside of the first drug uh, that is being administered to patients. And we're going to separate those two drugs uh, by a comma. So now if I print the code like this, you can see we get almost what we wanted to have. We have many more elements 
in that list generated by list comprehension because we have three nested for loops. So the first one loops over the group names, the second one uh, loops over the drug names, and the third one again loops over all of the drug names. And in this way, what we're, uh, what we're creating is the permutations of the three groups and the two drugs selected from, uh, from this list of five drugs. But notice that there are some cases where the two drugs are the same. Uh, that's just because we created all of the possible permutations, but in practice, those cases don't really have uh, any meaning. So we're not going to administer twice uh, that same drug. We're only going to administer two different drugs from that set of drug names. So we can get rid of these uh, labels by adding an extra if statement to my list comprehension. So I'm going to add an if statement where we're going to say only print that text if the second drug being administered is not equal to the first drug being administered. And now we get the list that we wanted to obtain. We've removed all of those cases where the two drugs uh, are the same.